install the Labvance desktop app and record EEG data in a study. Please note the desktop app is only available to license holders with either a lab or department license. From the downloads page, select the desktop installer option. Then, from the versions listed, select the newest version available. Based on your operating system, click the download option on the right. In this case we are using Windows. When downloading is complete, what will appear is a zip folder. Upon extracting it, scroll down and find the Labvanced executable, which then you need to launch in order to install the desktop app. After a few seconds, you can select the directory or location of where you want the app files to be saved and click install. It will take about 10 to 20 seconds to install. Upon completion, you will be asked whether you want to download FFmpeg license, which essentially allows you to support media files like audio or video files in your experiments, so it's important. This will take a few more seconds. You can then create a shortcut to have on your desktop and select to launch the app as soon as it finished downloading. The login screen will show and can sign in using your username and password. If there is an update, you can accept it if you want. The studies will load just like in the browser version. In general, there are similarities to what you see when you open labvance.com, but there are a few differences. For instance, there is no dashboard view and there are no navigation tabs at the top or bottom. But otherwise, this is used just like the browser version when creating and editing studies. For instance, you can create a new study and start editing right within the application. One big difference is this top toggle here between local and online modes. When you toggle to local only the studies that are locally available to your computer will appear. To make a study locally available, you simply select it and click the Access Locally button from the left menu. This will download the study to your computer and from this point forward you can use it without internet access and just use it completely locally in your lab. In this local or offline view, you will now see the study. While this is similar to the other online mode, it is a much more focused and clean-cut view of the studies available and dedicated for recording data. One important thing here to explain are the sync settings. The auto-download option means that upon re-establishing an internet connection, any changes that were made to the experiment design will be reflected in the local version. This is helpful so you don't have to remember every time to sync it yourself. The auto-upload option means that any data recorded locally will be uploaded to the Labvanced server. So if this isn't selected in any way, then you will have the data locally and export it as you wish. The two-ways sync means that both options for downloading experiment updates and uploading data apply. While the no auto-sync option keeps the study completely local. Thus you can decide using these setting options how you want your study to behave, whether it is synced and updated and in what direction, or whether you prefer to keep it entirely local. Upon selecting a study in the local mode, you can click the open option from the side menu and then proceed to do a test run or a recording session. In this example now, we will see how to set up a study such that an EEG connection is established that can then be used in a local mode. To do that, the first step is to go to the study settings tab and enable the lab streaming layer. Then this text field will pop up where you can name the output stream. Typically, you want to set up an output stream for the events generated in Labvanced and send it as a marker stream to your EEG recordings to mark events so you can do events related analysis of the EEG data. After this is set up, you can send individual markers on that stream which is quite straightforward using the Labvanced event system. Let's set up a simple study. Since we are sending string-based markers that occur at irregular points, we will just keep the default settings as they appear for this output stream. For more information, refer to our documentation. We will quickly set up a study for the Bubakiki effect. First level is for Buba which are round shapes and another level of Kiki-like or spiky shapes. Now under the Buba condition shown on the trial system, we click it and select the object then upload the relevant files, creating as many trials as there are stimuli and auto-assigning them. Then, we do the same for the other condition by selecting the object under the condition and repeating the process. 
At this point, we have a simple study with two kinds of stimuli. Now for the events, we want to progress or move the study forward upon clicking an image, but also send a specific marker to the EEG based on the image type. We will create an event and name it, send marker. The trigger is frame start, so the EEG recording knows when the frame with the stimuli started and when the stimulus was shown exactly. Since we want to switch between conditions, we will use a control action, more specifically an if-then action. To call on the first condition, we select the corresponding factor variable and set it equal to the string booba. Then, select the API action to send lab streaming layer marker to the stream we created earlier under the study settings and specify the string you want to send. Here it's the booba. Then, we copy the whole thing and simply change the strings to correspond with the other factor or stimulus type, Kiki. We can create another event, so when the image is clicked, the EEG receives the marker of click. We can also record the reaction time here or things like that by choosing set record variable and creating a variable that is scalar and numeric which records the mouse trigger time from the frame onset. And, of course, to move the experiment forward using a jump action to jump to the next trial. At this point, a very simple study is set up with a structure and capabilities of sending markers to an EEG. We have two different types of stimuli shapes, round or spiky. Based on the kind, we send different markers to the EEG. Upon clicking the image, another marker is sent saying a click has been made. Also, the reaction time is recorded and the experiment goes to the next trial. Toggling back to the local mode shows that there is a sync happening and after a few seconds that has been downloaded so all the changes made online are reflected in the local version. To start an EEG data recording session, of course we need the LabVance study. But also, a few supplementary free programs are needed in order to infuse the EEG with markers as well the tools to visualize and potentially analyze the data. We are using a Muse 2 EEG wearable headset for this demo. With the Blue Muse program open, we click the Start Streaming option. A window pops up showing four different streams, the EEG channel, accelerometer, gyroscope and so on, as well as their respective sampling rates. Those two windows can be minimized now. The next tool is Lab Recorder which is the LSL recording software you can use to record the LSL data stream you connected, so if you have started your EEG system and started the LSL stream, you will see them here. But we see the LabVance stream is not started yet and that's because the study is not started yet. So the study needs to be started in order for this stream to start as well. As soon as the study is started, you can click the update button in the lab recorder and you can see the LabVance stream is now ready. On the right, you can choose where to save the data stream file of combined data from the LabVance stream and EEG and potentially other time series sources locally on your computer. Now click start to start the recording. In order to see something, you need to start another tool which is the Brain Vision Analyzer from Brain Products which is a nice visualization of what's being recorded. Upon clicking connect all the streams should be displayed here. Now we will start the study. When there is a click or a response in the study, you will see the markers appear also in the EEG stream here at the bottom. The click marker and the condition marker are not so distinct on this scale because milliseconds after clicking the image, the condition marker is set for the new trial, so they appear together here, overlapping visually. But overall it works quite neatly and we can go through the entire study, which is 10 trials. Now the study is done. So we can stop the data recording by clicking stop in lab recorder. It takes a few seconds for the file to be created and saved. Last thing we want to show is how to analyze EEG data. Of course, there are many ways to analyze EEG data like in Python or in R or use MATLAB. We will use the EEG lab standalone which doesn't require MATLAB or license, just a runtime environment so you can just inspect the data recordings. With the standalone options, all the plugins like those for loading the XDF files which is the output format from lab recorder can directly be loaded. From the file option, go to import data using EEG lab functions and plugins and select the XDF file option and load data from the local folder where the data was specified earlier to be saved. 
So dig into your computer files and open it up, we will open the most recent file we created. Dialog boxes will appear to name the import and the data set. Information will appear pertaining to the frames per epoch as well as the number of events and we can go to channel data, scroll, which is a nice overview of the recorded data and you can move through the data and see what's in there. Here is the first marker and then these are the additional markers from the experiment duration. Under the plot menu item you can see many options. We won't be doing any analysis now, but from here you perform interesting operations using timestamps and epic data sets. There are nice materials from EEG Lab about this, for instance this is some kind of spectrogram of the recording. We hope this was useful and demonstrated how quickly an EEG study can be set up using the Labvance desktop app. Thank you.